Hello and welcome back to the Codoshop channel, where we simplify Odoo for you. In today's video, we're exploring band reconciliation in Odoo 19, a key feature that helps you match your band transactions with your accounting records quickly and accurately. We'll go step by step through how it works in the new interface and how it was changed from previous versions, from a cleaner view to smarter matching options. So let's jump into Odoo and see it in action. To access a journal's bank matching view, go to the accounting dashboard. From here, you can either click the journal name, for example, bank, or click its transactions button. That will display all transactions, including the ones that were already reconciled. Alternatively, if you only want to see unreconciled transactions, click the to reconcile button. And if you want to include the previously reconciled ones too, just remove the not match filter from the search bar. Now this band matching view shows one line for each transaction in the journal, with the most recent ones at the top. Each line has a date, label, partner if set, some action buttons, and the transaction amount. We can also expand the line to see more details and additional options. Behind the scenes, every transaction is linked to a journal entry that debits or credits the journal's main account and its suspense account. That stays the case until the transaction is fully reconciled. Then order replaces the suspense account with the actual account for the counterpart item, or in manual cases, the account you select yourself. All right, so when we open our bank reconciliation view, we can see the full list of transactions imported from our bank. Basically, order tries to guide you toward the most logical way to reconcile each of them. And that's where these purple buttons come in. They help Odo suggest what action makes the most sense for every situation. For example, here Odo didn't find which partner this payment belongs to. No problem, I just click Set Partner, search for the right one, and select them. And as soon as I do, notice how Odo automatically reconciles the payment with the correct bill. No need to validate it manually. Now let's check the next line. Here Odo found that this transaction is linked to Gemini Furniture. When I click Reconcile, I can see three bills waiting to be matched with this payment. One of them is highlighted in blue. That means it's still a draft bill. And yes, Order 19 now lets you link draft bills directly to bank transactions for faster processing. So I click that bill, and again, it's reconciled automatically. Next, let's talk about the Receivable button. As I mentioned, Odo always tries to suggest the most logical option. Here we have a payment of $870 for a bill of $860. So Odo automatically reconciles it with that invoice, but we've got a $10 difference. This is why Odo introduces the new 3% logic rule. If the difference is below 3%, Odo reconciles it automatically. But if it's above 3%, you'll get to decide what to do manually. So for this one, I can click Receivable to post the remaining $10 to the customer's account. That's what Odo considers the most logical action. But if I don't want to post it there, say I want to treat it as a cash difference gain instead, that's still totally possible. I'll discard this line, click Set Account, search for the right one, and select it. Once I do, Odo reconciles it automatically. And here's the cool part. The next time I get a similar transaction for the same partner, Odo automatically suggests the same account, because it learned from my last action. This saves a ton of time when handling repetitive transactions. For example, here I got three recurring internal transfers. In this case, I don't want to set a partner, I just want to link them to the internal transfers account. So I click Set Account, search for the right one, and select it. And again, Odo remembers this choice, so next time it will automatically suggest that account. Really handy. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually work behind the scenes? Well, it's powered by reconciliation models. The big improvement in Odo 19 is that these models now run automatically in the background. You don't need to create them manually every time. They are already built in and help Odo match payments more efficiently especially with that 3% tolerance rule. That said, you can still create and customize your own models like before. If I click Manage Models, 
you will see all the existing ones. You can still define your own criteria and counterpart items if you'd like. If I remove the created by user filter, you'll notice some models were created automatically by Odoo. For example, the liquidity transfer model we just used. By default, those models have manual triggers, but I can switch them to automatic, so Odoo will apply them on its own in future reconciliations. And once I do that, when I go back to my transactions, those recurring payments are already reconciled automatically. That's a huge time saver and a clear step forward in efficiency. Now, before we wrap up, let me show you a few extra options that can really help when managing transactions. First, you can open the chatter related to any transaction. That's super useful if you want to leave an internal note, tag a teammate, or record clarifications about a specific payment. So if your accountant or manager needs context later, everything's already documented there. Another great option is upload bills. If you've just received a vendor bill that matches a specific bank transaction, you don't have to leave this view to upload it. Just click Upload Bills, select one or more files, and Auto will digitize them automatically. And finally, if something was imported by mistake, maybe a duplicate or a test transaction, you can simply delete it from here. All these small tools give you full control and flexibility when reconciling your bank statements. So to sum it up, Auto 19's bank reconciliation process is now smarter, faster, and much more intuitive. It learns from your actions, suggests the most logical steps, and even handles small differences automatically, all while giving you full control when you need it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Auto tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.